Case 14 is a 30-year-old man with seizure and altered mental status. Here we have a couple of levels of flare throughout the brain parenchyma here. Just take a look at those. Here you have a single image from diffusion and a T2 weighted image from the level of the hippocampus. These are the pre and post contrast images. So your first question is, what is your top three differential considerations? So that's kind of telling you this is a differential case. So you may not be able to get an exact answer, but you should be able to come up with your top three. And 14B, what medication should you start immediately? Is it acyclovir, dexamethasone, Keppra, or Valium? So this is a case of bilateral encephalitis, and there's a differential for these findings. The first thing you have to think about, it because it the, has the worst outcome and the greatest need for immediate intervention, is herpes encephalitis. Other viral encephalitides can have a similar appearance, like West Nile or St. Louis encephalitis, some of these unusual viruses. Now, limbic encephalitis is an inflammatory encephalitis, which is uh, often the a perineoplastic syndrome, and it's associated with a variety of circulating antibodies like the anti GAD antibodies. Now, an infiltrating astrocytoma can have this appearance, but it would rarely be bilaterally symmetric like we have in this case. So, limbic encephalitis is uh, the diagnosis in this case. As I said, it's an immune mediated encephalitis. Many times, patients will have a malignancy such as lung or testicular cancer. There's a wide variety of circulating antibodies. So this patient had anti-GAD antibodies. In limbic encephalitis, what you'll see is bilateral temporal flare and T2 abnormalities. Maybe you'll have a little patchy enhancement, uh, plus or minus that. It can be symmetric or asymmetric. It was pretty symmetric in this case. In contrast to herpes, usually they have greater, or herpes rather, has greater diffusion abnormality and more enhancement. The patients tend to be sicker but it's very important that you treat them immediately with acyclovir until herpes can be excluded. So in this case, we have some flare images and you see here the medial temporal lobes and hippocampi are too bright bilaterally. And this abnormality extends up into the insula and subinsular white matter bilaterally on both sides, but it's relatively symmetric there. Here you see the diffusion and the diffusion is relatively normal. The T2 just confirms what we were seeing on flare. And then on the pre and post contrast, you see that area is edematous, so it's T1 hypo intense, but there's very little, if any, enhancement there. Like maybe you have a little leptomeningeal enhancement just from hyperemia there, but enhancement is not the dominant feature. As to what medication you want to start in this patient, you want to start acyclovir, because even though this case is somewhat unusual for herpes, it's something that you have to exclude with lumbar puncture and clinical uh, features because not starting a cyclophere can have a significant impact on the morbidity and mortality for the patient.